Hey folks, Rath coming at you with the second video for the Endless Battle Death Hive event. This time really demonstrating the new hero Amat here. She's going to be at X20. I did not max her out to X30, nor did I take her to Immortal. So what I wanted to demonstrate with this video is the difference that she has in the damage points that you can get. There's two things that will play at a factor. First is she's going to actually do a decent amount of damage herself. And then the second, she is the hero up here. Whoops. Uh, that Let me actually go back and demonstrate that. She's the hero that provides the most amount of bonus points because she's on the roster. So she's adding 20 versus all the others. So the idea behind the lineup is really to choose these five here. So Amat, Daniel, uh, Sif, Doralee, and Senway. And the gear on the others has not changed, so I'll quickly flash through that. So Senway, again, in Bugmaster gear for everybody, he's in Throwaway um, Madness with with Bugmaster substats and Insectoid substats where I could fit them. I could obviously use a better, uh, better pants here. I don't have a better one. Um, Doralee, she's in my PvP setup. She's got some decent substats for what uh, what i have in bugmaster gear here and then i've put a mod in a tempered surge set i stole parts and pieces of this from both jaina and corollis for me and then daniel i would say is going to be the mvp in terms of damage here he's really going to do the bulk of it um he's in a tempered madness crit base set he is awakened seven so I would say that that plays a role in him being the top top damage dealer here. And then finally, we've got Sif, who's also in a crit-based madness set. She is in um, Bugmaster gear as well. The only person, or rather the only character here that's not X30 is, whoops, and I just got rid of him there, is Senway. Uh, I've never, to this date, taken an epic hero up to x30 i haven't seen a reason to and so similarly with him all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys what the commanders are again they're not changing we've got ampu daniel and sif ultimates or all scales and then we've got maxed out dominant nucleus maxed out ruler's ring and maxed out rev crystal so this is going to be a full auto run 69 million is what you get so the difference there is approximately 8 million versus not having summoned her so it is a significant difference anyway let me know what you guys think i'll catch you on the next one peace
Thank you.